Do you know, I've just realised I've not done the thing with the thing in a really long time. I need to start doing that again. Hello to you over there on the other side of the camera. Hi. So it is exam season and it's very stressful. I'm not going to lie, it's quite stressful. Most of my life at the minute is just revision. Do you know what I love about exams? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't love anything about exams. Actually, no, that is a lie. I do love what's drawn on the exam table desks. Our desks, they've got like that weird plastic stuff on the top of school desks, but then they've got like a groove along the top, which is just wood, and people draw on that. It's quite impressive, really. People's absolute originality and creativity. It's like people are having a conversation. You're not gonna write something down and then come back in and sit in the same place three days later and find someone's replied to you. I was sat in a seat for the first RE exam and there was nothing written on this desk. I don't know whether it was a new desk or what, but I decided, you know what, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be funny, I'm gonna be a YouTube kid and I put first with some exclamation marks and some ones and I was sat in that same seat again for the second RE exam, which was about a week later. So we'd had several other exams, people had been sitting in those seats in between. And someone had written underneath, do you want a cookie? And I nearly cried. It was the best moment. It was great. Really, I was like, oh my god, wow. But I tell you, nothing beats that feeling when you've come out of the exam and you can just tick that exam. Even if it's not the whole subject, you can just tick that exam off your list. I have done, so far, Two biologies, two chemistries, two physics, two REs, and two English exams. Ten. I do, on the other hand, have ten exams. I have another biology, another chemistry, another physics, two history exams, music exam, food tech, two maths exams, and my final English exam left. But this is all the content that I don't need anymore now pile has been slowly growing. However, comma, the pile of the material that I still have to know is depressing. Depressingly large. Most of it is history, but it's still a lot. It's still a lot. Exam halls themselves are a very stressful experience. And I don't know what's worse, sitting at the very front, so on like the first three rows, or sitting at the very, very back. I mean, one scenario, sitting right at the front, obviously, so everyone can see you. The exam invigilators are just staring at you, making you feel like you've got notes in every single pocket, plus your socks. And in the second scenario, you have to walk past everyone to get to your seat. And especially if you're one of the last people into the exam hall, you feel like you're going on forever. There are 22 columns? There are 22 lines of seats in my exam hall. I had to walk past 21 people, plus all the people either side, who just kind of all went... Followed me with their eyes. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm so far back. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing for free. If an exam hall in the dark isn't the scariest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. You may need to get checked out. That's terrifying! Don't ask me why I was in an exam hall in the dark. It's a very long story. I can only imagine the feeling of just relief and freedom that's going to come when we walk out of our last exam. Our last exam is in... Two weeks. It's two weeks on Friday, basically. Which means that our half term finishes four weeks earlier than it would normally so we are off school for ten whole weeks which is going to be great and it's not just going to be great for me it's going to be great for you because what an excellent segue raising i'm very proud of you i am going to have summer specials season two coming out this summer holidays i'm going to have a video every single week that's 10 videos so that's a lot of ideas so if you have any ideas for summer specials put them in the comments or tweet me them or just tell me irl if you know me which most of you do not gonna lie anyway yeah i would love to hear them because they may get made thank you very much for watching and i hope you all 
do really well in all your exams. See you later guys, bye! <laughs> Tip, keep your exams in your phone because then it will remind you just before the exam, which is really good.